Hello you ham-fisted horse masturbators, Jim Sterling here, and this is Demesne Survival in Wild. Let's get cracking, shall we? Start game. That click register. I was kind of very flamboyant when I clicked it. There we go. There we go. It's not a problem. So this is an early access game, as you can see from the screen here. Tis in oily access, which means that it won't be completely finished. Of course, we allow some sort of leeway for that, but not a, a full amount of leeway because it's still a product being sold. And there we go. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, then. Just had to wait for the all the plant life to appear on that hill. And there we go. Oh, wow, that is some motion blur, huh? Wow, that's a lot of motion blur, huh? Oh my god. And the frame rate, it's like I'm living in some weird dream. It's like I'm on the worst drugs. Oh god, what have I bunged up my arsehole before arriving on this island? Oh, that's, that's knocking me sick. Can we fix this? Let's see if this can be fixed in any way. Okay, so I'm looking through this fairly basic, looks almost like an engine standard menu here. And there's nothing. There's there's nothing. I, I, I went on video and I did set the the field of view. Oh well I, I did set the field of view back. There we are, let's click apply. So that's there for keeps is. That's about all I can do. You know, I can I can fiddle with all this stuff. Really take the, the view distance down so we can't see jack shit. Look at that. Wow. And the uh, resolution scale here. Probably don't want to fuck with that. So, anyway, we've got we've got our field of view, but that's not really helped much. Look at the blur! Even when you just go a little bit, this stuttering, blurry thing, like you're just perpetually intoxicated. Okay, well, I'm going to play this until a migraine sets in, anyway. We've wasted enough time. God, it's like a... It's like when they show, like, soldiers running in a historical documentary and they clearly only have about five actors from a Ren fair being all of the soldiers. And it's always shots like this in, like, a History Channel documentary of... You know, you hear, like, the, the subtle sounds of... Like, stock sounds of armies clashing. Like, rah, rah, clang, 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 rah, 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 rah. While someone's, like, you know, talking over it, going... And then the soldiers came running over the brow and descended on their enemy. Like that. Rah! Yeah! Now we're in the water. I mean, I've, I've not watched that many historical documentaries, so I don't know exactly how much of that is accurate. But I think it's pretty accurate. Okay, I thought I saw a bear there, but it's just a rock. I mean, we're here to survive in the wild. Um, we, we're going to need food at some point. These are our survival things on the corner. So we need food, heart, health, and muscle. They're the, they're the three things you need to survive is, is cutlery. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! Oh, nipple action. Oh, that's some good nipple action. I can see uh, the camera's clipping through the the old uh, collarbones here. That's fine. Look at a sprinting nude through the jungle. Well, like the forest, really. It's not a not a jungle. What's this? Oh no, it's just a bit of a cut branch. So can we interact with anything? Nope. I'll be honest, um, I did look at some of the user reviews before this, because this one had my eye for a while because it was sat on Steam for ages with coming soon on it. For ages. And people were wondering, like, where the fuck is it? Why did it appear on Steam in the new releases tab as if it were on sale, but it's not been on sale? Fazbear Nightmares has been doing the same thing. I've been keeping my eye on it. And that one's been there for 
fuck, I can't even remember when it first went up, but it was a long time ago, and it's just had coming soon on it for ages. I, I just, I can't wait for it to come soon. But this one finally did turn up, and people, uh, I looked at a couple of the reviews, and people are like, they haven't worked out what they're supposed to do yet. They've tried to find any signs of life or gameplay on this island. So that's what we're hoping to do here. Because it would be so uncharacteristic of a Greenlight game. Uh, I believe it may have been Greenlight, but what I, what I meant to say was it would be very uncharacteristic for an early access game to come out and have no content. You know. So... Let's see. I was, of course, being very sarcastic. We've played multiple games on Early Access that have no content in them. As people sell their quote-unquote pre-alpha games as little more than proof-of-concept tech demos. That prove no concept, because there's not really a proof-of-concept in wandering around a forest, you know? Or, or a sci-fi corridor, or flying as a dragon in that dragon one that we did that had no content. Because the concept's been proven. You know, it's proven that you can fly as a dragon in a game and that's all right. What you want to prove is that you've made a game worth buying, which is a concept that several chances on Early Access haven't been able to, to pull off. See, I keep seeing things like this. Like, I saw this log, and I thought it was like a sleeping dinosaur out the corner of my eye. When shit's blurry, it kind of uh, resembles sleeping animals and things. But it is just rocks. Rocks and logs. Nothing. Nothing. Boink. Oh shit, we've only got four muscle left. I've used up all my muscle. Oh, it's coming back though at a ridiculously slow rate. Five muscle. Six muscle. Seven muscle, there we go. And look how fast it goes down. Fucking stamina meters, how many times? How many times? I might have to do a full launch inquisition of that. It could be a nitpick theatre, but then again, the, the Ubisoft episode on Iconic arguably could have been a nitpick theatre, but sometimes, because the, the Jimquisition is, is the one that gets all the views, even though being ad-free, it doesn't make any additional money, unlike nitpick theatre, but to me, when I've got something I really want to get off my chest, I'd, I want to do it where people will see it, not the thing that will make me a bit of extra money, because the message, to me, is more important than any cash. And I think it's an important message, and it's one I need to get out there to, you know, 200,000 plus people, rather than, you know, the 50, 40 or 50 that will go on nitpick, that stamina meters are fucking shite. And that only a very few games, holy shit did that crap out, only a very few games have proven skillful enough. Oh my god, this game's really struggling, huh? Anyway, only a few games have proven themselves skilled enough to handle a stamina meter in a way that works. And obviously we all know that that, that list almost begins and ends with the Souls games. There are some others, but mostly Souls games, because they tie it so intricately into the language of their combat system, you know? It's a very careful resource uh, balancing and management system they've got going. In games like this, it's just there for the sake of it. In games like, you know, first-person shooters... It's got no place. It, it doesn't do anything to enhance the game. You know, your average Call of Duty is not a methodical, slow, tactical game about 
judging when to move, when to avoid, and, and, and all this kind of stuff. When to strike, when to retreat. Uh, it's about running and gunning, and then it hampers your ability to run in such a way as to break the conventions and, and really challenge one's uh, suspension of disbelief. Because how the hell am I supposed to believe that I can run for longer than a highly trained military person? You know what I'm saying? It's bollocks. Anyway. Could you stare? Transcribe what I said there. Sorry, I'm yawning. I, I, I don't mean to. Involuntary bodily response. That, just to be honest, this game isn't helping. Uh, I don't know how long we've been going. I didn't check a... I didn't run a timer or anything, but we haven't seen anything. Have we? Gonna cross this body of water here. I mean, we've seen no animals, we've seen no plant life, I mean, like, outside of grass and trees, we've seen no fruit, you know? No no plants we can interact with. I mean, this is what, trying to be an open world survival game, and I can't even punch, I can't even punch trees. I've tried clicking all the, the relevant buttons, or all the, the buttons you'd think would be relevant. I might have to just go through here. If we get up onto this little body of land here. If I just press all the buttons and see what happens. Q is just options again. E. R. T. Oh. Hello. What was that? So that's our inventory. But nothing to put in it. Bear with me. I know this isn't the most thrilling bit of gameplay on the planet. Talking of uh, Dark Souls, I've been trying to give Dark Souls 2 an honest go. Uh, my experiences with it never grabbed me. Now, you know, if, you, if you've known me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a big Souls guy. Big fan of Souls. Uh, Demon Souls is still one of my favourite games ever. I, I, I think it's beautiful. Uh, Dark Souls as well, I also think, is very, very finely crafted. Like, that, that's something I look at and I say, that that's artistry in, in level design and world building right there. Uh, it's, 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 po it's poetry in terms of, of action RPG game design, I feel. Um, Bloodborne, of course. I mean, you all know what I think of Bloodborne. That was a fucking Jimquisition Award Game of the Year winner. Um, one of the few 10 out of 10s I've ever given on my site. Uh, I, I, I cannot praise it enough. I, I think it's incredible. Uh, to the point where some people were saying, steady on, Jim. I think you're going a bit hyperbolic with how much you like it. Um, and, I, and I still stand by everything I said about it. Um, Dark Souls 2, I never really got around to trying until Scholar of the First Sin, uh, which uh, I'm now trying to play for the third time. I, I never get as far as an hour into it before I'm like, I just don't like it. And then I stop. Uh, this time I'm going to try and do it better. I started rolling as a cleric because I like the cleric in Dark Souls, but did not like it in Dark Souls 2, so I just I just went with a standard warrior this time just to, just to try and get started and see if I can get used to it. But there's something off about it. Like, the first Dark Souls, and Demon Souls, of course, has some. there's something very precise about it, you know? You feel like every enemy is placed for a reason. The levels are designed intricately to have meaning. Everything, nothing's in a place without it being there for a very good reason. Um, and I don't know if this is just Scholar of the First Sin doing it with its added enemies or whatnot, but it feels scattershot in comparison. Even though everything's still placed in specific positions, there's something more random about it. Almost like someone had a level made in Little Big Planet and then just dropped enemies in, you know? And maybe that's just me, but that's the impression I get. And, and as a result, everything about it feels off. And that's just, that, I mean, that's just my first impressions. Uh, fingers crossed it changes. Because I really, you know, I want to like it. I really do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep giving it a go. Because I, I do hope it... 
it grabs me in the end and it doesn't feel off. I know it's uh, kind of a black sheep as far as Souls games go. So I know I'm not saying anything particularly out of the box by saying that, you know, I'm not, enjo not enjoying it as much as the others. But I do know that, you know, people do enjoy it. And I'd like to be one of those people. I'd, you know, I'd, I've always, I always like to enjoy any game. Gives me no satisfaction to uh, dislike a game, especially if I bought it, you know? There you go. You don't think you're good. This time I'm not even going to apologise. I think this game should apologise. I probably wouldn't be yawning if something exciting was happening. We've been walking for a very long time. I'm beginning to suspect that there is no content to be found. Backed up in my belief by the mixed reviews on Steam that more or less say the same thing. Whoa! That really craps out then. Oh god, it's, it's struggling like hell. What are you struggling for? It's just trees. I mean, trees that, that are all swaying individually and everything, I'll give it that. The grass is all wibbly wobbly, but... But it's not like you're loading anything intricate. I've seen better looking forests that run lot much better. Maybe it's this fucking motion blur that's fucking doing it, huh? You think about that, huh? Huh? Fucking think so. This is going nowhere. Ugh. Oh well. I had a good day yesterday anyway. Gym position went up and funnily enough for some people who have been doing the whole who cares and this was a pointless episode, it's gotten more engagement than than in a lot of the, the other recent ones. Like, it's one of the most engaging ones I've done. Like, the amount of uh, comments it's gotten, mostly positive as well. And we're stuck. Can't jump. We try crouching. Ah, oh, there we go. Had to crouch to get out of that. Okay, yeah, don't run into it again. So, it was a really good gym position. I was able to announce as well that the the newly revealed Oddworld Soulstorm, the the Abe's Exodus based, uh, at least from the promotion they seem to be giving away, um, somewhat a remake. They appear to be doing a full rewrite of the Abe's Exodus story. Um, but anyway, either way, it's called Oddworld Soulstorm, new Oddworld release, and I was able to announce yesterday that I am. Um, in it, I'll be p uh, playing a character doing a vocal uh, performance role in it. Uh, can't give any more details outside of that yet, but I am very excited to be able to give them to you eventually. I think fans um, will really dig it. They'll really like the idea. The idea when it was presented to me had me highly tickled. And I was also speaking to Ray Peacock, who uh, long-time fans of mine will know that I'm... I'm you know, it's one of my comedy fucking heroes. Um, big fan of his podcast work. Um, love the stuff he does. Love his uh, outlook on life and his sense of humour. And I'm a big fan of the Parapod, which is a new podcast he does with Barry Dodds. And we're chatting with him, and uh, might 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 be appearing on his uh, radio show, and he might be appearing on um, one of our podcasts. Maybe the Spin Off Doctors um, slash Movie Boys. Uh, so that would be exciting. And there's some other stuff that I can't tell you about yet, but trust me, when you hear about it, you're going to be fucking amused. Like, I can't say any more than that, but let's just say something... Oh! Oh! Good. No, good. I'm actually, I'm actually glad that happened, because cause I'm going to go. And never, yeah, probably never put this on again.
Oh, for God's sake, you're going to crash on exit. You're just frozen. You fucking piece of shit. Uh!